Hey guys, it's Gus, and the question comes up very often, you know, what should I spend my Zen on? And the answer I see in basically every single social uh, avenue in the game, or in Alliance Chat, or whatever, is almost undoubtedly VIP. Well, I'm not so sure spending Zen on VIP is the best thing to spend Zen on. I do agree that Zen, or VIP, is an amazing value, but I don't think it's the best value and let me explain my reasoning i know there's gonna be a ton of people maybe everybody who disagrees but i'll explain why i view it this way and maybe this information will help others who are planning on investing zen in future purposes so we all know we all know what benefits a vip give you right <clears throat> and if you buy one month you get rank one you buy rank a second month you get rank two once you buy 12 months worth which is 10,200 zen on the 12th you'll get vip 12 which has all 12 uh layers combined and uh but 10,200 you shouldn't be paying out because there's three 30 percent off sales a year you know uh black friday new year's and the anniversary well it's been that way for the last two years but you can't say for sure that trend will continue but it's been a long-term trend in the game. Uh, so VIP gives some pretty cool stuff. You get a mailbox. I'll be honest, unless you're buying and selling a lot, I don't know how often most people are accessing the mailbox. Um, uh, I know when I'm doing a dungeon, most in trials, I'll check my mail. I'm checking all the time because I'm buying and selling a lot. I don't know if everybody's doing that though. So I don't think everybody gets as much value from the mailbox as I do. Uh, but then again, because you can, if you go to social, go to mail, you can check and send mail in here. You just can't use uh, putting attachments in there, and you can't collect your attachments unless you're at an actual mailbox. Uh, you also can summon a bank. I don't know how often players use the bank within the game. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really use it that much. I do every once in a while. But I don't think it's a significant boost to the quality of life in the game. Uh, you also get a signpost. I don't use the signpost that much. Uh, once you've done questing, get through all your campaigns, you know, the majority of the time, I'm in dungeons. I'm not really, you know, using the signpost that much because you don't use the signpost to go into dungeons. So, I mean, it's a value. It's a quality of life improvement. It saves time. Shh. I got the kiddos here. Sorry, everybody. You also, once your VIP gets high enough, you also get three rerolls. I do consider those 10K each. And if you play like three mains or five mains and you use them all every day, that's, you know, five, 10 main, five mains times three, that's 150K value. That's, that's actually a decent value. I like that one. Uh, you also get the daily VIP key. I don't know what value to place on the VIP key. Um... Uh, personally, I could care less about it. The trade bars you get are great. If you average 60 trade bars per key if you're using the older lockboxes, that's 1,800 trade bars. You know, that's 900 comp amount tokens a month you can get from that. That's pretty good. That's actually a great value. And then the other stuff you can sell, RNG dependent, but I don't think for the most part people are making a lot of AD from VIP keys. <clears throat> I think once you get your bolsters maxed out, I don't think keys give you nearly the value as they did prior to that. And you can't sell your, your you, you can sell trade bars, what you get with trade bars, but for very low. Like if you buy um, scrolls, those are sell for much, much less than what you would be paying for tokens. So I'm not a big fan of trade bars, but there it's a value while you're leveling and getting your character progressed. You also get the, um, the five free potions, and at rank, if you're once you're level 20, that's 1.75 gold, which is a nice value. Give me a sec, buddy. You also can summon the merchants. I don't know how many people are summoning the merchants, though. If, like, I, I don't know how often I summon mine, like once every two or three or four days or once a week. I don't know how often people are really summoning their, their, their merchants and excited that they got their merchants for their VIP. I do know as a crafter, when I'm all my characters are uh, crafting, they run out of leather or whatever, 
I can summon the merchant very quickly, but I usually buy mass bulk, so I only have to do that once every couple months per tune. I think the two biggest, biggest values that you get from VIP, though, um, the reason why I say they're the biggest values is they have nearly an unlimited value on them. And first is the 5% auction house listing fee. Uh, once your VIP gets high enough, you don't have to pay the 5% auction house fee. That can potentially, for I imagine the average player, that's not really a big significant thing. But when you start selling a lot, like hundreds of millions of stuff, 5% is a lot of AD that you're saving. A lot of the stuff I sell is only for a 5% profit. So if I lose that 5% listing fee, I would have made nothing. So that 5% doesn't seem like a lot, but the potential for saving AD and making AD in the game is nearly limited, limitless. It's limited only to how much stuff you can uh, buy and sell in the auction house. And the second one is nearly limitless as well, and that's the bizarre discount. You know, tomorrow the Astral Lockboxes are coming out, and they'll have a 15% off sale. So if you don't have VIP, you'll be able to buy the Astro Lock Boxes for um, 85000 But if you're a VIP rank 12, you get an extra 25% off. So instead of paying, you know, 85000 you're paying 60000 per lockbox. Uh, that's a huge significant discount. And if anybody watches or follows any of my videos, you know, the last time the Astro Lock Boxes came out, I spent um, $1.5 on those, about 25000 boxes. And if I save 25,000 per, I saved 625 million because of this. But here's the deal. I don't think most players, the vast majority of players in the player base will feel that kind of benefit that I felt. So for me, VIP is a great value. Um, but then again, I probably would have never bought them if I didn't have VIP. So it's only because of the VIP. You know, nobody's going to buy eight. 85,000 a billion of them because they're only selling for 70k you know right now after the sell so what who's gonna buy that much and sell at a loss purposefully so vip is pretty good i don't think it's as big as quality of life as it's made out to be i do know you can make a lot of ad from it but i don't think the majority of players are making a lot of ad from it i think the great thing about vip is the tr the trade bars you get that's about it for the average player. Uh, but I will say this as an asterisk. I've been playing the game since it came out. So there's probably a lot of player experiences that do not mirror mine. So I could be wrong on the count of most players easily. And then we can get to... So you can spend 5100 Zen and get VIP for six months. And after that six months, you got to spend another 5100 Zen. Well, unless you use a sale or a coupon, of course. But for that much, then you can buy, uh, you can buy twenty, you can buy forty character slots with that. So you can really max out. I think uh, I think it was like sixty three hundred zen, max out all your tunes. And alts have a huge value that I don't think most people realize. So if you invoke once a day on your alts, you're gonna get a hundred and sixty three of these a month. That's only if you invoke once a day. A lot of players go through the full cycle, so they're not getting 163. They're getting like 326 of these every month. But with just my one invoking a day, I'm getting six to seven cold words every month from these, which is pretty good. A lot of people like cold words. A lot of people like cold words. I would say everybody in the game likes cold words. And you get a lot of these. And then you're also getting prez words. And press words are very expensive. You can't really get those in bulk from the Zen store like you can cold words during with coupons or with um you know the, the triple cold word discount. Press words are really hard to get and we use up a lot of them. And so you get a couple stacks from these. I open these every few months and I get a couple stacks of them. Plus you get the rank five enchanting stones as well that are unbound and sell. So just from invoking from your all army uh, is great. But there's uh, more benefits um, Tons of backspace, you know the longer you play the game the more stuff you're gonna accumulate and the longer you play the game the more you start to realize that um, You don't want to throw anything away because you never know what's not worth anything now that can be worth a fortune later on i.e Anybody who was around Chult remembers when Bateries were 180 People were throwing them away and then when they came out with the companion rework they were over a million 
boom. I mean, so you want to start accumulating stuff so that later on the road, it may have a ton of value. So I have about 180 backspaces on each tune, which is over 10,000 backspaces. It's great. And then you also get 16 um, uh, bank slots also, which is about 960 more spaces. So you, plus if you, Buy, sell stuff in the auction house at a price it won't sell just so it can store in your your um, mailbox uh, times that times uh 60 times four that's another 2400 spaces you can start acquiring a ton of stuff which is really helpful um especially if you do like um mass events uh just from invoking each day with those vip bags with the five potions it's 105 gold I know 105 gold doesn't seem like a lot, but look at the prices of gold now. If you haven't looked for a month or two, they've nearly doubled because Gon's coming tomorrow. So 105 gold right now is worth about 36,000. So when I invoke, I get 36,080. It takes seven minutes. So I get I get um, about six of the cold wards every month from invoking, a couple stacks of Prez wards, a uh, bunch of rank five enchanting stones, and 105 gold a day just from invoking. It takes seven minutes. Now, I know if you're on PS4, shit, it can take over 20 minutes. And if you have an SSD, it's about 15 minutes. Oh, my goodness. I used to do that be before I got a PS5. It was ridiculous. Uh, you also get reroll tokens, which really don't have value on alts. When you have an alt army, they're not there to be played, right? I never play them. You don't gear them. You don't do anything with them. They're, they're there as your mules and your invokers. And your storage place, you know, you're not using them. So the reroll tokens, as of now, really don't have a ton of value. They could, though. Uh, if you're a big seller, you know, you're limited to selling 40 items a day, and all your alts can sell stuff. And there was a time not too long ago where I literally listed 2,400 items in the auction house. Pretty crazy. Um, but the alts let you farm stuff. Like right now, is the dragon flights. So what people are doing is, like in our alliance, dragon fights are popping. I mean, there's sometimes where people will pop and while other people are doing one because they're just so damn crowded and they don't want to wait. And so what they do is they do it on their main and then they go to an alt, get the bag that can have a ring worth a million AD or whatever, go to another alt, do the quest again. You could potentially do 60 of those dragon flight bags a day. I know that would be ridiculous, but... It'd be a huge AD maker if you had the time and you, you really needed the AD. You'd make a shitload in one day. Uh, but the big thing for me is the um, the events. If you didn't see the uh, video I put out recently, the um, the summer festival was 206 million AD. And it's going up. The price of all that stuff I use in the video has already gone up since the events ended. That event was so damn huge. And that was just by doing it for 19 days, not 21 days. And Summer Festival is bigger than most events. Uh, but it, it just shows you why having alts can just make you so much AD in this game. Because most events are very alt friendly where you can do the event on each of your tunes. And most of them require absolutely zero killing. So... You don't have to have any gears on any of your your uh, tunes, which I don't. And um, they can just go participate in the event, like the Lyrus, go collect the five fireworks, turn it in for the coin, daily coin, and log out, and you get tons of stuff. So the event is really where the alts are going to make you a ton of AD. Um, they have pros and cons. An alt army takes a huge initial investment. It's about an hour to get your alt ready to invoke. And an, and an hour is a long time, especially if you have to do that 60 times. So you're not going to try to do that one day. You want to really pace yourself out over a month or two to do it and forego like random dungeon cues and that silly 100k rough AD a day. Because when you have an alt army, you do not care about that. You're just making so much AD from your alts. Um, I mean, it's still, it's still fun running dungeons, but getting that initial investment on your alts like if i would have did this six years ago goodness i waited i only started like about a year and ago when i got my alts a year and a half ago and i really regret not doing it a long time ago i did not see the value in having an alt army so the downside is it has a huge upfront cost but once you have them established the time investment you don't have anymore and the zen once you pay for your alts you got them forever 
It's not a reoccurring fee. So you got this huge all army working for you around the clock. Every one of my alts is making me uh, six gold just from the 18 items they're crafting for me. And I do that while I invoke. So the invoking is seven minutes. And then collecting from the stuff is an extra two minutes. So it's nine minutes a day. Uh, once a week, though, I have to pull out, put aside like an hour, maybe two, to sell all that gold. But it's like 3,600 gold, which is pretty significant. I mean, that adds up a lot. Uh, uh, so the all army takes a long time to develop it. But once you have it, you're set. VIP is great, too. But the downside with VIP is after six months, it's gone. You have to pay another 5,100 zen. It's a reoccurring fee. Um, so my opinion is they're both great because I benefit the VIP B benefits the alt army and the alt army benefits the VIP. So they really work in tandem. But if I only had one, it depends. If I was a player who knew I was going to play this game a long time, absolutely alt army because you're making a long-term investment yourself now if you're a player who plays this game you know for a month when new stuff comes out and doesn't log in for you know two more months of course not then maybe vip is best for you because um you're not gaining the full effect of the R army by not playing daily or doing the big events so uh they're both great long term i think the all army will make players much more than vip will uh, VIP has the potential to make you a ton, but most players I don't think will ever be at that point where they're spending a billion AD in the bazaar or selling so much stuff. They're listing, you know, 200, 500 million worth of AD in the auction house every day, every month, I mean, not daily, but just listing so much stuff where they start seeing a huge return on that 5% uh, posting fee. So it's really up to you, but for me, whenever we get new players, I always say all army, uh, uh, you know, because if they just join the game and they go and shell out 5,100 Zen and quit paying two weeks later, they just lost 5,100 Zen. I mean, that's a, either way you're losing out if you're going to quit the game. But if you enjoy the game and you only got 10 minutes on, there's days where you don't have time to do RAQs and RTQs, but you can spend seven minutes going through your alts. <laughs> making that 200 250k just from invoking in seven minutes yeah it's it's much more friendlier for people who don't know if they're gonna be able to play that day or not or have hardly any time to play or not that's my opinion i know a lot of people disagree so i look forward to your comments below because i may have missed something that was blaringly obvious stay class never winner see you soon